Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. God in the tongue from the book of Al-Adhar of Imam Al-Nawi. Imam Yahya ibn Sharaf Al-Nawi. Guarding a chapter, guarding the tongue. Allah the Messiah says, Ma yalfidu min qolin illa ladehi raqibu natid. Not a word does one atta except that there is an angel watching ready to record it. And he says, Inna rabbaka labil mirsad. But your Lord is ever watchful. I have mentioned previously what Allah made easy for me from the recommended types of remembrance. I also wanted to include along with that the things that are displayed and forbidden in one speech. It's in order that this book can be complete in regards to the rulings uh, concerning one's verbal statements and comprehensive in regards to expl explaining their different uh, categories. So I will mention some aspect about them that every Muslim must be aware of. A majority of the things I will, I will state here are already well known. And for this reason, I will not include the evidence for most of them. Thus, with Allah lies the success. Know that every individual who follows under the category of being responsible for his actions, Mukhalaf, uh, must guard his tongue from all types of speech, except for that speech which consists of in uh, of some benefit. So, in the, in the situation that the speaking and refraining from his speech are both found to contain the same amount of, of benefit within them, then the Sunnah is to refrain from it. Altogether, this is because the allowable speech equal in benefit and harm paves the way towards that which is forbidden as well as disliked. Rather, in most cases, he will be, it will, this will be the result and applying safety at the point will not be able to sue it in the list. Ayna'am. Abu radiallahu anhu. The Prophet of the Prophet wasallam said, Whoever believes in Allah on the last day, then let him speak uh, good or remain silent. This idea of which the scholars have agreed upon is honesty is a clear cut proof that one should not talk unless his speech is good and that is and that is the speech that consists of primarily of benefit. So if one has doubt as to whether or not his speech consists of the benefit, then he should not speak. Imam Shafir Mullah said when one decides to talk, then it is upon him to think before he speaks. If there is beneficial good in what he will say, then he will speak, and if he has no yes, he has, has doubt about that, then he must not speak until he clears that doubt by making his speech uh, good. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever believes in Allah the last day, then let him speak good or remain silent. He said of which the scholars have agreed upon his authenticity is a clear cut proof the one that that one should not talk unless his speech is good and that is the speech that consists permanently of benefit. So if one has doubt as to whether or not his speech is consists of benefit, then he should not speak. Imam al Shafir Allah said, When one desires to talk, then it's upon him to think before he speaks. Is if there is beneficial good in what he will say, then he should speak. And if he has a doubt about that, then he must not speak until he clears that doubt by making speech good. A Muslim reported, I said, O Messenger of Allah, which of the Muslim Muslims is the is best? Here the Israel Wasallam is born, he is who he who stung and hand the Muslims are safe from. Sahil ibn Sadr reported that Allah Wasallam said, Whoever can guarantee for me that he that he will guard what he what is between his jaw his jaw his jaw's tongue and what is between his legs, private first I will guarantee for him paradise. A brother Allah reported that he, he had the Prophet Wasallam say indeed the servant of Allah will speak a word while being unaware of its consequence and due to it he will be cast into the hellfire further than the distance between the east and the and the, and the west. In the nation of Al Bukhari, there only occur the words further, the, further, than, the, further than the distance between the west. Without mentioning the east, the meaning of while being unaware is that he does not stop to consider whether his speech is good uh, or, uh, or not.
Habur radiyallahu anhu reported the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said need the servant to speak words that are pleasing to Allah due to which he will be given a condition which Allah will raise him, him many many raise, raise him many levels and indeed the servant will speak words that are displeasing to Allah due to which he will not be given a good condition but instead be drawn to the hellfire It is reported in the Muwatta of Imam Malik and the books of at tirmidhi and Ibn Majah from Bilal ibn al-Harith al-Muzni that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Indeed a man will speak with words that are pleasing to Allah and by which he is not aware of what he has attained by it due to it Allah will record for him his contentment for him until the day that he encounters him and indeed a man will speak with words that are displeasing to Allah by which he is not aware of what he has attained by it due to it Allah will record for him his uh, discontentment with him until the day that he encounters, uh, encounters him Sufyan ibn Abdullah had another report that he said a message of Allah tell me of a matter that I may fall first unto Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, say I believe in Allah and then remain steadfast on that. I said, O Messenger of Allah, what is the best, what is the most serious thing that I should fear for myself? So he took hold of his tongue and said this. At Tirmidhi said, this hadith, this, 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 this hadith is Hassan Asahi. Ibn Umar al reported Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Do not talk much about, without remembering Allah, for indeed too much talk without the remembrance of Allah hardens the heart. And indeed the people who are farthest away from Allah are the ones who have hardened hearts. Abu Radiallahu one who reported that the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whosoever is granted protection by Allah from the evil of which is between his jaws and from the evils of what is between his legs will enter paradise. Okuba ibn Amr Radiallahu reported, I said, O Messenger of Allah, how does one attain salvation? He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded, Restrain your tongue, remain in your home, and weep over your sins. Uh, Abu Sa'id al Khudri reported that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, When the son of Adam wakes from his sleep, all of his body parts seek refuge from his tongue, saying, For fear Allah with regard to us, for indeed we are a part of you. So if you are upright, then we will be upright, and if you are upright, if you are corrupt, then we, will, then we, will, we, shall, be, we shall be corrupt. Um, Muhabib reported that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, Every speech of the son of Adam is against him, is against him not for him, except for commanding good and forbidding evil or the remembrance of Allah. May he be exalted. Muad um, Allah reported, I said, O Messenger of Allah, tell me of an act that will take me to paradise and keep me away from the hellfire. He said, You have asked me about a major matter, but it is easy for he whom Allah may he be exalted makes it easy for you must worship Allah associating nothing with him, you must perform the prayers and pay the zakat, you must fast in Ramadan and perform the hajj to the house of Kaaba. Then he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, shall, not, shall, not, shall, I, shall I not show you the gates of goodness? Fasting is a shield, charity extinguishes a sin, as what extinguishes a fire, and so does the praying of a man in the depths of the, of the night. Those who forsake the, the uh, you know, then Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam recited, uh, those who forsake their bills to cry unto the Lord in fear and hope, and spend of what we have bestowed upon them. No soul, no soul is kept uh, hiding for them of joy as reward of what they used to do. Then he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, Shall I not tell you of the peak of the matter? Its pillar and its, uh, its, uh, its, uh, its uh, uppermost uh, part. He said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. He said, The peak of the matter is Islam. The pillar is prayer and its, at, uh, and its uh, uppermost part is jihad. Shall I not tell you of what controls all that? I said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. He took hold of his tongue and said, Restrain this. I said, O Prophet Allah, will we be held accountable of what we say? He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, May your mother be bereaved of you. O Muad, is there anything that comes people to, causes people to, drive, to be dragged on their face or he said on their, on their noses into hellfire other than, they, other than the harvest of their tongues? Abu Rara the Allah who reported the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, From the goodness of an individual Islam is that he is abandoned talking about, the, about those things which do not concern him. Abdullah bin Amr bin Asr the Allah who the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever remains silent is saved. This hadith, clear, this, this hadith chains of uh, narrator so it's weak. I only mention it here to expose its weakness, since it is a very well known hadith. The authentic hadith similar to what I have mentioned here are many and sufficient for one who is granted success. I will mention some words on this regarding this in the section of my baiting, and with Allah lays the success. As for the narration reported on the Salaf concerning this matter, then they are also abundant. There is no need for mentioning them after having heard the previous report. However, we will briefly inform us of some of them.
تسريجة ضد قيس بن سادة أن أختام بن سي سيفي once met and one of them said to the other how many defeats were you able to find the son of Adam the other responded there are two numerous to count however the defeat that I was able to count for a number 8000 I also discovered one thing which if I put into practice all of this defect will be kept hidden he asked what is it he responded guarding the tongue Abu Ali Fudeli bin Iyad Rehmullah said whoever limits his speech to be in accordance with, the, with his action will minimize his speech and on that which he doesn't concern him Imam Shafi Rehmullah said to his to, to a Swiss student, uh, Rabbi, or oh, Rabbi, do not speak about things that do not concern you. For indeed, every time that you speak a word, it is control of you, and you do not have uh, control of it. Abdullah ibn Masud Allah said, There is nothing that deserves to be imprisoned more than the tongue. Others, uh, others have stated, The example of the tongue is like that of a savage beast. If you do not lock it up, it will set out, it set out against you. Uh, Ayn Am. Abul Qasim al Qurayshi said in his famous uh, Risala, the remaining silent is salvation, and that is a fundamental principle. And saying quite at the, at, the, at the proper time is a characteristic of manhood. Just as speaking when it's proper to speak is, is from the most honorable of matters. As he said, I had Abu, Abu, Abu Ali al, 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 al Dakhdak say, whoever remains silent concerning the truth, then he is a silent devil. He also said, as for the preference of those who strive in good to remain silent, then that is because of what they know of the bad consequences that, that, that result from take, talking and from the souls being pleased with that. It's also because of the praiseworthy tribute that they will show by doing this and because it will incline him toward distinguishing between, uh, between its types, whether good speech or its people or its, or its opposite. This is the characteristic of those endowed with religious devotion and this is one of the appeals with regard to educating the people. What has been recited of poetry in this regard is, get your tongue on mankind and do not let it bite you, for indeed it is a snake. How many people in the graveyards are there who are killed by their tongues? Whoever fears me meeting him on the depression is truly the, the brave one.